guys and welcome back to my channel and today I have done this very autumnal full inspired halo look and a very bold lip for you guys um so if you want to see how I got this makeup look then please keep watching so naturally I'm starting this video with my face makeup and my eyebrows already done that's just so this video is just specifically looking at the eye look and it's just a lot quicker because sometimes I feel when I do my full face of makeup face eyebrows lips everything i just feel it takes a ridiculously long time so for that i'm just doing my eye look for you guys today excuse the hair it's doing things it's a bad hair day i'm just rolling with it so without me rambling on i am going to start so first i'm going to go in with my maybelline matte maker powder and I am just going to put, apply that with my point s brush from real techniques and I'm just going to bake my under eyes just on the off chance that there is any fallout and if there is any fallout I could just brush it away because this is my safety barrier so to start this makeup look I'm going to be using this gorgeous yellow matte shade and this is the shade butterscotch from NYX and taking my Zoeva crease brush I am just going to apply that into my crease I think this is just a gorgeous shade as a transitional crease colour so I'm just going to blend that out and repeat for the other eye Next, I'm going to go into my Naked Heat palette and I am going to be picking up the shade Ashes, which is this gorgeous plummy purple matte shade. And I'm going to be taking this on my Spectrum VO6 shading brush. I'm just going to apply that to the outer and inner corners. So I'm just going back and forth on both of the eyes, just working in the outer corner first and into that transitional colour that we've already placed down. And sorry if you can hear the neighbour's dog, they will bark at anything, literally. A leaf can go by and they'll bark at it. So I'm sorry if you can hear like the dogs barking in the background or anything like that, I can't really, can't really do a lot with that. And if you need any help blending that purple out even more, just go back in with the yellow just to buff it out. Taking the same purple shade on my Spectrum A12 brush, I'm just going to pop that in the corners. Again, I'm just going to buff that into our transitional crease and just buff that out towards the middle of the lid as well. Do the same to the other eye, again buffing it out towards the centre and the crease. I'm just going to buff that purple a bit more into the yellow. Next I'm going to go in with the shade Liquid Gold from NYX. I'm just going to use that as a base for the following colour, but I'm just going to apply this with my Spectrum A06 brush and I'm just going to apply that to the centre of my lid. Like so. Again, this is a base colour for the next colour I'm going to apply, but if you just want to go with this colour on your lid, that's completely fine. But I want a little bit extra pizzazz, so I'm going to go in with the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Kitten Karma, which is a gorgeous coppery, bronzy gold shade that has like a silver reflect to it. And that's how insanely gorgeous this shade is. It's a bronzy coppery shade with a silvery gold reflect to it. Apply a little bit to the centre of my lid. And using a Urban Decay um, shader brush, I'm just going to buff that out and keep it to the centre portion of my lid. Which 
with this product you don't need too much of it so a little bit does go a very very long way just doing the same to the other eye I'm going to apply a little bit more to this eye because it doesn't come up as high as the left eye so I'm just going to buff that out again but bringing it a little bit higher so they're roughly the same so now I'm going to go in with my lashes and I'm using the Ideal Lashes I love this from the Most Wanted collection you can see them dancing around in the packet and I will stick these on and I will be right back. So lashes are on. I absolutely love these lashes. I think they are recently new. I'm not quite sure but I love them. They are super lightweight. They're really fluffy and feathery. They have a really thick lash band as well. If you are new to lashes these will be ideal for you because they are a thicker lash band. But moving on to my lower lash line. I'm back in with my heat palette. I am just going to take up the shade Enfuego, Enfuego, my Spanish is not great, Enfuego, which is this matte burgundy, burgundy shade and Ashes again which is the matte purple shade. On my Spectrum A12 shader brush I am just going to pop that underneath my eye. Next knit to the top and bring it all the way into the inner corner. To intensify and deepen this look, I'm gonna go in with my Tarte uh, Lights Camera Lashes Close Up Lash Liner in black. I'm just going to put this along my waterline. And using my A12 brush and whatever is left on the brush, I'm just going to buff that liner out. Featuring the really cute faces. And then I'm going to cut my lashes with the Laura Geller Glam Lash Dramatic Volumizing Mascara. This is my holy grail. I absolutely love it. So that is the eye look completed. So I'm just going to brush away this bake and any fallout, which there is a little bit, but not too much. But moving on to the lip colour, you can play this with a nude, with a matte nude or a glossy nude or a red lip. But today I am going to be brave and I am going to go all out and I am going to put a purple lip with this. So for my lip colour of choice I am going to go in with my NYX uh, Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Transylvania which is a gorgeous plummy red, purpley, burgundy, purple colour. And this is the finished look. Um, all the products that I have used will be listed down below, like always for you guys, including face makeup if you are interested in that as well. If you like this video, then click the thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. I upload every Tuesday, and until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.